We've been hearing lately that it's a seller's market, so what should you do when you want to sell your home but are afraid it won't sell right away? Or what if it does sell right away and you don't have a house to move into? Here to answer these questions, we have Jennifer Mello of The Mello Group. Good morning, Jen. Good morning, Brendan. Welcome back. Thank you for having me. Lots to talk about. I mean, last time you were here, we discussed this from sort of the buyer's perspective. This time we're coming at it from that seller's perspective. And there are many things to consider here, as we kind of said in the intro, questions we have. So really, what should the approach be if we're looking to move out of our current house? Sure, I think that one thing that we're hearing all the time now as realtors is uh, we're meeting sellers that are stating that they have a desire to sell, however, they're nervous about what step comes first. They're nervous because there is a lack of inventory, and when they look online, they don't see a lot of homes to go to or to choose from, but they know it's a seller's market. So they're afraid to list their home first because they're afraid it will sell in an instant, and then they won't have a place to go. The word contingency comes to mind with regard to many things that we do in life, it really should be no different if we're looking to sell because we always have to have that backup plan kind of ready to go, don't we? That's right. So a realtor can help you shape, um, you know, the entire process. If you're going to list, um, the best thing to do is to list your property today with a contingency that the sale of that home is contingent upon you finding suitable housing. Right. That may not have, you know, been the way to go in a previous market, but certainly in this market environment, it's the best thing to do. It puts the first step first, which is putting yourself out there so that you're able to then search for the home of your dreams and you don't have to worry about not being competitive when you find the house that you want to move into. Other in, in other words, you're not ready to right. actually make that step if your home isn't on the market. So if you find your dream home, you may lose it because you're not ready to transact yet. You haven't taken the steps to prepare your house first. That really comes first. Do you find that sometimes people out there have a tendency really just to kind of get a little ahead of themselves when if they kind of take that step-by-step -step process that you just mentioned, they're going to be better off in the long run. Oh, sure. We witness it all the time. You know, the first step is someone hops on their computer and starts searching for homes. They get excited about the process. They want to take a look at some properties. And unfortunately, that can result in some heartbreak because if you're not ready because you haven't prepared your home and you haven't listed it yet, if you made an offer on that house because the market is so competitive right now, you the likelihood is that you'll probably lose that offer because, um, you know, you, you haven't taken the steps and you're not ready to transact yet. You still have to prepare your home, list your home, market it, find a buyer so that your timing can match up with that um, the seller of the house you want to buy. Does a lack of inventory in any way, shape, or form play a role here with regard to from the seller's perspective or is it not as much of a factor? Oh, absolutely. It makes it so that the offers that you're presented with, sometimes multiple offers at the same time, um, it makes it so that you really can choose um, someone who has the best timing, um, the best deposit, uh, the least amount of contingencies, you can be really selective to make sure that you're choosing the buyer whose timeline fits in line with yours um, so that you know you can have a really smooth transaction and hopefully right at asking price or even above. All very valuable information as always. Jen, thank you so much. Thank you very much for having me. Great pleasure to have always you here. Always fun. Thank if you. you guys would like to get, she said always fun. I don't believe that. I'm a fun guy. Is that yes. what you're saying? She yes, wouldn't you are. <laughs> For more advice from our friends at the Mellow Group, be sure to visit roadshow.com where we will have a link to their website.